Hey, hey, welcome people. Welcome back to Ken's Money Matters. It's a Monday and as usual, we have to discuss something that is money related. At Ken's Money Matters, what we're trying to do is ensure that we grow holistically. Not everything is focused on figures and numbers and money. Some of them are focused on careers. Some of them are focused on diaspora issues. Some of them are focused on traveling. So we're trying to grow this money perspective from all angles so that you don't just focus on figures. Success is our holistic game. And like I always say, I know what our people require and that is what I give. And that is why today we're going to talk about why I quit my job, how I did it, and what are some of the benefits. And this is meant to just show you that it's possible to quit your nine to five job because I know a lot of people have so many ideas but they have not been able to affect those ideas and live their full potential because of the jobs they are doing. So if you are still fearful of taking some steps in your life and you're thinking, oh, what happens if I leave my job? Because we have been taught to worship our jobs. We have been taught that we have to stick up by our jobs. So a brief history of uh, my life. Basically, I'm one person who was brought up with the job mentality. I cannot lie. I was not told about entrepreneurship as much. I was not all about, you know, coming up with flexible and original ideas that I could actually control and see into fruition. I was not taught so much about being independent and doing my own things. I was brought up in a system uh, whereby I had to think about jobs. I had to think about working for someone. And I think this one kind of derailed me because I believe I'm a very intelligent person. I believe I can come up with so many ideas, but somehow I was put in a box. I was told, you know what, this is the path that should be followed. And because everyone around me that did the same thing, I did not actually think, you know what, there's another path that is actually much more uh, easier to follow and can give me a lot of success. And not only success in terms of money, even in terms of life fulfillment. And for me, that's the greatest thing. I realized at some point that no, I do not have to live within this box. Now I have worked 95 for a while now since I finished campus. And uh, before that, before my campus years, I had some businesses which I did quite successfully, but because this, is, this was a trial and I was doing it out of the fact that I had some extra time and not because I wanted to do that in life. I did not give it so much attention. I did not give it so much uh, thought. I did not give it so much seriousness that it deserved. So I did not really do much in business, but I was just doing it as a part-time thing as I waited for my nine to five job. So when I got my nine to five, first of all in Kenya, it worked out well, it was a good job, it was a well-paying job, but you know what? I was not fulfilled. I was doing a really good job, I was a cabin crew, but I didn't feel some fulfillment. Something was lacking in me. So I realized, you know what, first of all, I had gone to school and performed really well. And I had done uh, political science and international relations, which is completely different from what I was doing at the time. Uh, being a cabin crew. So this kind of put me at a very funny st st stage because after a very good performance in campus, I was doing a completely different thing that did not sit well with me. I did enjoy, I did enjoy it for the first two years, but it reached a point where I didn't enjoy it. And one, one thing I do is that if I do not feel fulfilled, I go for the exit. I find a way out. So what I did is I found a way out and left the country. So when I left the country and I went to Finland for my master's, got a scholarship, went to Finland to do my master's and I did law. So when I did law, I felt right because I liked law, I liked political science. These are areas that I was interested in and deeply involved in. So when I did law, that was like a really good opportunity. I, I was in Finland and I worked nine to five for a while. And then I left Finland again. I came to the UK whereby I've also done an MBA finance and banking, uh, another master's. And the, all these things I realized I was doing them and they were setting me up for employment. I also did a postgraduate diploma on international development and in the process of pursuing a PhD. Yeah, in, in, in uh, law and investments. But all these things, I realized one thing about them, that they always make me think in terms of employment. So I had to cut this out. I had to think, you know what? Employment is not the only way in life because I realized someone is controlling my life. I realized that every single thing that I have to do is under someone's control. So I thought, how can I control my own life? And here I am. I decided, you know what? I'm going to quit my nine to five job. So just to cut the story short, after all these degrees and, uh, being in the process where I, I had even started pursuing my PhD, I realized, you know what? I need to do something different with my life. This is not the life I want to live because I still did not feel that fulfillment within me. There was something lacking. So why did I quit the job? Number one, and this is going to apply to many people. Number one, I wanted control of time and energy. So there's no bigger thing. There's no bigger gift you can give to yourself than the control of your time and the control of your energy. That freedom is everything you want in life. 
because with that freedom, you are able to execute so many ideas, you are able to try out so many things, you are able to have a life that is not tied to someone else's dream. So for me, the main reason why I was quitting was because I wanted to control my life. I wanted to come up with my ideas and execute them at the time I wanted to do it. But with a 9 to 5 job, you realize that you may have so many ideas, you will never ever execute them or see them into life and some of them will fail some of them will succeed but you want to know that you know what you did try something you did do something that was out of your own brain something that you came up with so for me that freedom and that control of time was much more important than anything else the second reason why i quit was because i did not want to be working on people's dreams constantly i'm a human being like anyone else why would i want to constantly work on someone else's dream so i thought you know what i can actually work on my own dream i spent over eight hours or nine or 10 hours every single day working on someone else's dream. If I spend the same time working on my own dream, where would I be in five years? Where would I be in 10 years? That was my line of thinking. And I was thinking, these people have brought a lot of uh, projects uh, and uh, ideas that change the world. They took their time to actually focus on what they wanted to do. I know this can be difficult in terms of finances and stuff, but we will talk about that. But what I'm saying is, if you have an idea, you have to start by thinking of what is possible, not what is impossible, what is uh, going to work and not the obstacles you're going to face. So the first thing was you want to control your time. Second thing, you, want, you don't want to work for other people's dreams and spend a lot of time making people's dreams come true. And of course, third thing for me was I wanted that personal growth. I did not feel fulfilled in all the jobs I had, which are actually well paid and very good jobs according to societal standards, but they were not according to me. So in that perspective, I thought, you know what, you can actually come up with an idea that will make you feel uh, like you're growing personally, something that will make you feel fulfilled, something that may not give you immediate gratification in terms of money, but it will actually put you somewhere in life and your heart will be at peace. So how did I go about it? Number one, you have to be extremely positive. Now, there are steps that you don't take in life with negativity. You don't think, like I said earlier, don't start thinking of the obstacles, of the issues, of the problems you like to face. Don't start thinking of the challenges. Think of that thing that you want to achieve in your life. Think of the end goal. Think of the opportunity of being an employer to some other people. Think of the opportunity of changing people's lives through your own idea. So from the beginning, you have to be very positive. For me, that's extremely important because everything comes from the mind first. The mindset has to be right first before you take this leap. Look at the end goal, manifest it, sit in it, and feel it. If it gives you satisfaction, it, if it gives you happiness, then that is where you should be. So the first step is have that mindset that will uh, spur your growth into whatever you want to do. Number two is just take that leap. Uh, most of the time people find this to be radical, but personally I'm not the kind of person who does things slowly and, and, and want to see the results. No. Most of the time, just take the leap and see the results. You also have to take the leap when you have the idea ready, of course. So take that leap because most of the time we are worried about finances, money, or how will I pay my bills. Of course, as a finance coach, I will have told you that if you are working, you have an emergency fund. If you are working, you have some savings. If you are working, you definitely have some investments. If you don't, then in that case, then that's a different situation. I always advise that you have some emergency fund somewhere, which most people actually do have, but they still do not want to take that leap. I know sometimes it's not about the money. Sometimes it's about the security that you have from a job. Jobs give us some false sense of security. That security is not there for sure. Because what happened during Corona? What happens when you don't do your job well? What happens when people have to be uh, laid off? What happens if the company goes down? So there's no security. It's just a false sense of security that has been taught to us in the society. But there's no security in having a job. People want to make you feel that it's secure. I don't find the security. There are some jobs that are more secure than others. But at the end of the day, if you're working for someone, I don't see any security. Anything in this world can go down anytime. But if, if it is your own idea, if it goes down, you just come up with a new idea. You have to think outside the box. It forces you to think. So I always say, take that leap of faith. But of course, you have to have some basic setup, like I said, uh, from a, a financial perspective. But then be ready to take that leap and be ready that things will be a bit different. Your life may actually not be as perfect as it was when you were in that job, but it will be much, much better when things get to the level you want them to get to. Another way of how you can go about quitting the job, you can have a side hustle. Side hustles do help. You can start making some money on the side. And therefore, when you quit your nine to five, you can still be able to offset some bills and you also have your emergency fund. So that way, again, this one helps those who are very fearful of taking that leap. So if you do not want to take that leap immediately and you feel like uh, you don't have any buffer, start having a side hustle 
uh, constantly and consistently. And when it starts making you some little money, don't wait for it to be very good and successful. Start getting out of nine to five job. Trust you me, it will be worth it. The, the control, the flexibility, and the success will always be worth it. Fourth way in which you can go about it, always remember this. If you are in a negative situation, if you are in a job that you don't like, that you don't feel fulfilled, you can never ever find something positive. You can never manifest something positive. You can never start something positive. What do I mean? I mean that most people always say, oh, you know, I'm on this job, but I'm trying to find another one. 10 years going, 20 years going, they're still trying to find another job. What happens is this? You are in a negative situation. It is affecting you mentally, physically, emotionally, and psychologically. But you want to make that leap and go into a positive situation. Um, looking at the laws of the universe, it can't work like that. It won't work successfully for you. So what do you do? That's why I'm saying you take the leap. So for me, it's important that, you know what? I'm in a negative situation and I'm looking for something positive. It won't really come to fruition. What you need to do is be in a positive mindset and then start working on your ideas or trying to get another job. So for those who still want to work. So in that sense, I always say, how do you do it? Make sure that you leave that negative situation you are in. Even if it means getting another job that you feel comfortable with for a period of time before you go out of nine to five, then do that. But don't be in a negative situation and you're planning for those positive moments. That moment never comes. And another way in which you can go about it, develop some skills. So even if you're doing that job, make sure you develop some skills. Make sure you, you have identified that skill. Most of us do have skills, but because of our education system, those skills are not focused on. But as individuals, we do have some skills. There's something you're passionate about. There's something you can provide, a product, a service, whatever it is. So make sure you develop a skill. If this can be a one skill, two skills, doesn't matter. But a skill around something that you love doing, something that you want to, uh, to develop. So if you can have that skill ready for you, it will help you and inspire you in your growth when you get out of nine to five. You know that most people don't even care about certificates anymore. Uh, most people don't even care about those PhDs and, and, and masters. People like us who have more than one masters, it doesn't really matter. What matters in the market is the skill. So make sure you develop a skill. This one can be done even when you're still working. You can develop a skill when you're still working. And you can also develop a skill from what you're doing right now. So that skill can help you do other side hustles, like I said. It can also help you freelance and make more money as you quit and set up your own thing. Those are some of the ways in which you can go about quitting your job. But I said the best one and the most idealistic one is take that uh, leap of faith when you have your skills and your idea ready and get it going. So what are some of the benefits that I've experienced personally from quitting nine to five? Number one is the flexibility. Like I said, freedom to control your time and energy is the biggest thing you can ever find from quitting your job. So that freedom is something nobody will ever give you. That's number one. Number two, it gives you the flexibility to try out ideas because we have a lot of potential within us that we never get to exploit. That, fr that freedom will always, that flexibility and freedom will give you that opportunity to exploit those ideas within you. And I don't say that the first idea will succeed. No, one, number one may succeed, but it may also fail. If it fails, you know what? Because of the flexibility, you get the chance to do something else. But most of the time, because we are put in this kind of box, we don't try out things. We don't have the opportunity to. We don't have the time to. We don't have the energy to. We don't have the flexibility to. So that flexibility to try out different ideas and know actually who you are is very important. Number three, it gives you an opportunity to get into yourself and know who you are. Sometimes we've taken jobs for so long that we even forget who we are as a people. So you become part of the job. You become associated with the job. Your brain, your mental capacity, uh, your view of life, is from that particular job. So that's why some people stay in jobs for like 17, 18 years. They look at the life from the perspective of their jobs. And when they are talking to other people, they talk to them from that perspective of that single job because that has become their life. So for me, it's about finding yourself, knowing who you are, and getting deep, deep into your personality and getting that fulfillment out of life. Final point is the skills development. You have the opportunity to develop skills that can help you forever and ever. These are skills uh, that can be passed down to generations and generations. You can teach your children. Basically, you can develop something that will serve your family for a lifetime. When you develop certain skills in life, you've passed them down for life. So yeah, that's what I think. I think that nine to five can be an interesting thing. Of course, some people are okay with it. You can go through with it. But if you're not happy where you are, like most people are not, then this is one way or a path in which you can follow to get what you want. It's an encouragement. And it's also my story of how I went about it. So personally, I have gone through with it. So far, I'm thriving. I have the opportunity to do the things I've always wanted to do. I have the opportunity to try things out. I've had the opportunity to just be me and just do 
what I think is right for my heart and for my soul. If it doesn't sit well with my heart or my soul, I don't do it. For me, the control, the freedom, uh, the flexibility is not worth any money. And this is what you'll feel. You'll feel so relaxed, so easy, and you'll feel different. So guys, I know it's a long video, but this is one of those videos that we have to make to ensure that we encourage our people to pursue their dreams. Thank you and subscribe. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section.